Are you looking for hope, humor, and help along this crazy journey called life? If so, then this podcast is for you. As a homeschooling mom of five, I went from a depressed coffee addict to a passionate storyteller, and I want you to know that there is more to life than what you can always see. I'm your host, Melanie Gall, and on this show, you'll gain tools to create the life you want, cultivate who you are made to be, and celebrate just how far you've come on this messy road. I praise the Lord that He isn't done with any of us yet, and the truth is, because of Him, we are sustained in the middle. Today we're going to talk about anger and expectations on the podcast. You know, this is an area where it truly is the mess of life. There's so much damage that can be done by our anger. I once heard an analogy of a man who was a farmer and his son just had this massive temper and he wasn't sure how he was going to teach him the consequences of his anger towards people. And so he had the son hammer a nail into a board every foot for this ridiculously long fence. Once the son was done, it took him a couple days. He came back. He's like, okay, now I want you to go back and take out every single nail out of these boards. And the son was like, what in the world? That's ridiculous. After he did that, after a couple days, he comes back and he says, okay, now what? And the dad says, son, your anger is like that nail. You can remove the nail, but you can't remove the damage that it does to people's hearts when you sin in your anger like that, in the things that you say and in how you respond. And it really hit home to me. I once dated a man who would always tell me that I was mad. And for some reason, because I hadn't really delved into any of my story or any reason why I would believe that, for me, it just was a sin to be mad. So I would always say, no, 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 I'm just frustrated. Um, okay, big difference there, sis, between being mildly frustrated and mad or angry. It wasn't until later in my life that I learned that whenever we get angry, it's a really simple indication to let us know that one or many of our values have been crossed or violated. There is an unmet need or expectation there that needs to be addressed. The problem is, are we aware enough to notice our anger, to pause for a moment and to ask, what is my unmet need here? The key to getting to know ourselves is to ask these questions. I've been delving into my story and it's a lot of different things. It could be I was surrounding anger. When was the first time I ever felt angry? How was it handled? What did it look like for me to show anger? If that wasn't allowed, how did, then did I process it? Did I believe being angry was good, was bad? Did Jesus ever get angry? This is the beginning of exploring anger different stories in your life. And I encourage you to do that. Simply being curious about your feelings and about what might be behind them instead of judging ourselves. You know, there's a hugely beautiful new tool that I've started using with people. And it's the two J's. And I got this from Sharon Newfeld, who's just such a beautiful mentor of mine um, and has been for many years. Do we judge ourselves? Do we judge our stories? Do we judge our emotions? For example, if I was angry, I would always say, oh, Melanie, you know better than that. Oh, Melanie, you can't be mad right now. Oh, Melanie, what a failure. You are angry again. And the other J is justification. Well, of course you were angry. They did that to you. Well, of course you would get like that. Can you believe what they said to you? Of course that would happen. You were tired. Of course that would happen. You just are PMSing. We get into these cycles of judgment and or justification for why we felt the way we did instead of simply sitting with it and asking why and being curious. If you would like to know more about how to delve into your story, how to explore your story, go ahead and contact me at www.melaniegallcoaching.com and just put in the tagline story. 
And I would love to have a 30 minute free session with you of just kind of starting to explore that. And what does that look like? Because as we open up one aspect of our self-awareness, there's this beautiful gift that comes with it of growth and of change. Our relationships will change. The way that we respond to others will change. Kind of maybe even the opportunities in our life will change because we are seeking to become like Christ and not stay in the same patterns of hurt. We don't want to leave holes in people's hearts. Yes, there's grace and forgiveness, but what if we could change so that we leave people less damaged than the way that we used to treat them? Praying for you as you walk through this journey. Go ahead and bow your head now and pray with me. Lord, thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your extreme amounts of grace towards us. We do not deserve it. We deserve death. And yet you died for us so that we could have life. God, as we delve into our stories, you long to bring life to those places that are dead. Would you help us to become aware of where you want to work? We love you, Lord. Amen.